Welcome to Quarantine with Clark, the show that asks West Dodge Station staff questions kids want to know, and some they probably don't. I'm your host, Mr. Clark, and today I am joined by Mrs. Harold, our amazing school counselor. Mrs. Harold, welcome to the show. How are you doing today? Hi, everybody. I am doing okay. It's a good day. Fantastic. That's good to hear. So I just want to ask you a few questions just so the kids from West Side Station can get to know you just a little bit better, okay? Okay, you probably heard my dogs answer that question. So. <laughs> that's all right. So that, that's one of the questions that I'm going to ask you later. So obviously, <laughs> okay. you'll, we will have a preface to that one. <laughs> so first of all, where were you born and raised? I was born and raised um, in a small town in the middle of Nebraska. The town's called Primrose. And that was on the family farm that was, um, gosh, it's been in my family for three generations. And so, yeah, that's where I grew up, Primrose, Nebraska. Really? Like, out, like how far in the middle of Nebraska is it? If you've ever heard of Albion, it's about 45 minutes west of that, or, Colum or about 20 miles actually west of that. Of Columbus, it's probably about 45 to 50 miles west. Okay, so almost close to Grand Island? Yeah, it's it kind of northeast of Grand Island. Really? I did not know. It. I'm, I'm from Grand Island. I had no clue that the Primrose even well, existed. The, I don't know what the population sign is now, but for a long time, when I was growing up, it said 100. And then after I got out of college, it, it stayed at 69 for a long time. So it's a very, very small town. Very small. Well, you would still think that I would know about it. I mean, <laughs> I know about worms, for crying out loud, which is True. real close to, to Grand Island and probably around maybe close to Primrose. Well, I went to high school. Well, I actually went to kindergarten through 12th grade in a town nearby called Cedar Rapids. Oh, okay. I, I, I'm kind of familiar with that one. Okay. So do you have any brothers and sisters? I have two brothers and I have two sisters. They are all a lot older than me. So when I grew up, I pretty much grew up as an only child. So you're the baby of the family. I am the baby, and they still treat me like the baby. <laughs> of course they do. Mm -hmm. um, what about kids? Do you have any kids? I have two kids. Um, I have a son named Sam, and he is 24, and I have a daughter named Grace, and she is 21. Nice. And then you kind of answered this question a, a little bit ago. Do you have any pets at home? We have two dogs. We have a black lab, and his name is Atlas. And then we have a smaller dog. She's a Shiba, Shiba Inu. It's hard to say that word. Yeah. And her name is Pookie. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. So then what about hobbies? Do you have any hobbies? Well, um, you and I were kind of just talking about this. I like to be outside a lot. So I've been, um, have like some garden things that I like to do. Um, I'm also a musician. So um, I play piano and sing. So things like that. Nice. So I also like to talents. Cook. What's that? I also like to cook. Oh, good. Yeah. Un unfortunately, at this time, with the cooking comes the eating. So that, that's I know. That, that's, that's, <laughs> they kind of they kind of hurt each other. <laughs> I know. We we were baking for a while, and we kind of put the kibosh on that. So yeah, yeah. we're making salads. <laughs> there you go. Um, so now, what about hidden talents? What are so what's something that you can do that maybe a lot of people don't know about you? Well, I guess I was just kind of going to go the music route with that. I used to be a music teacher. I taught um, kindergarten or elementary and middle school music for seven years. And I didn't know if people knew that or not. But I, 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 I didn't I, know that. That's interesting. I played the piano since I was in second grade. Wow, that's cool. Well, there's a lot of people who have got the hidden talent of musical instruments. So um, I've kind of been telling everybody, I'm going to organize, I'm going to get a band together. Um, yeah. When this, I, I'm not sure how well all the instruments will interact with each other because some of them don't necessarily go in the in the same sort of uh, right. symphony or orchestra type thing. But you never know. I used to play trombone and the baritone horn, but I could maybe brush up on that skill. <laughs> all right. So, other than getting married and having children, what has been probably the most exciting moment of your of your life? You know what, I have been reflecting on this question because I've been cheating and looking at some of your interviews to figure out what you're going to ask me. This is the one I kind of get stuck on. Um, I don't know that I've had like my most exciting day ever, but just, I don't know, just those moments that take your breath away. Um, 
you know, when I'm surrounded by beauty, especially like being outside in nature, um, those are always my great days. Um, a couple years ago, my husband and I took a risk and we did zip lining out in Spokane, Washington. Wow. And we were like about a football field above the ground, hanging off of this pine tree before our next zip line. So that's probably the biggest risk I've ever taken. That would be awesome. See, I'm, I'm kind of afraid of heights, but at the same time, zip lining something like that, I, I would be amazing. I, I mean, I can tell you, I, I felt total fear. I mean, and I was the one who talked to my husband into doing this, <laughs> of course. but I could feel my heart rate. My hands were just physically shaking. So it was terrifying, but we were so proud of ourselves after we did it. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So changing gears a little bit. So growing up, um, and if you were in a, a small town, the, the jobs might've been hard to come by, but what would have been maybe one of the strangest or oddest jobs that you had, or what were some of the jobs that you had growing up? You know, some of the jobs that I had way back then are extinct now. Um, <laughs> They really are. <laughs> the one that um, I thought might be the oddest was I did something called walking beans one summer. Oh. And for kids who don't know what that means, um, before the farmers were using a lot of um, herbicides to kill weeds, they would hire people to walk through their soybean fields. And here I am, all like 17 years old, carrying a machete through a soybean yeah, field. Yep. And every time you came across a weed or some kind of plant that shouldn't be where it was, you just whacked it off with your machete. And that's what you did. You and your coworkers or your friends would walk through soybean fields and just whack off all the weeds. You know, what's funny is, is and I don't know if you've seen uh, some of the other ones, but um, Mrs. Pribnow, I, I believe Mrs. Weiss, Mr. Castor, there's been more people say, and, and I, I've never walked beans, but I did tassel. So yeah. it, it, it's kind of the same thing, walking through the corn and, and pulling the tassels off of some of the, the, the stalks. So yeah, walking beans, if, if you are from anywhere like rural Nebraska, Iowa, any place like that, I guarantee you, you've probably walked beans or detasseled corn. I detasseled for one day and then got this job walking beans and I liked it a lot. Being a short person, I liked it a lot. Better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because if you get too late in the season, those corn stalks, uh, you're you're reaching up pretty high. So I definitely know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. All right. So other than teaching and education, what would be your dream job? Oh, this is another one that I got stuck on too. I don't know. I mean, maybe doing some gardening. Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't, you know, I love, I guess, I guess that's maybe a good problem to have is I love my job right now. I love mm -hmm. working with kids. I love working with teachers. Um, it's what I've done forever, you know, and I've, retirement for me isn't right around the door, but it, it's coming down the road. And right. I've thought about that too. Like, what do I want to do when I retire? Because I'm not going to be a person who just sits at home all the time. So. I don't know if anybody has any good ideas for me. I'm on my way. Well, I, I know a couple of people, and, and uh, I, Mrs. Peterson is one of them for sure. And I can't remember. Again, I've done so many of these interviews, I can't remember who said what. But um, there's been a few people that have said to open a flower shop and and uh, stuff like that. So maybe you could have a little garden area. And I know Mrs. King said she used to um, sell vegetables when she was a kid. She used to sell her her, her father's vegetables. So maybe you guys, we could get some sort of uh, at the very least, a, a farmer's market on weekends. And then I could like bake them too. I could make pies oh, and stuff. That's perfect. I, I would be there for that. Good idea. Good idea. <laughs> All right. Getting into some of the goofier, more funny, uh, fun questions. If you could have one of the following superpowers, what would you rather have? Would you rather be able to fly or have invisibility? You know, this conversation, believe it or not, comes up in my office and lunch groups a lot. And so I've got an answer for you. I would want to be able to fly, but I also want the ability to make sure that it's really fast. Kind of like that Star Trek thing where beam me up, Scotty. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. and I can just be someplace. Teleporting. Yeah, teleport. That would be even better. 
because yeah. again, I'm, I'm afraid of flying or afraid of heights, not flying, but heights. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, teleporting, if I want to be somewhere, just tap the, the thing, okay. have them beat me up and, and you're good to go. I would love that. All right. Well, I know you like to sing. So mm -hmm. do you sing loudest in the car, in the shower, or equally as, both equally as loud? I would say definitely in the car because in the shower, you know, my husband would probably just tell me to be quiet. So, <laughs> um, in the car, and I was thinking, you know, I know that you get, you kind of talk about what's your go-to karaoke song. I think we should do like a carpool karaoke oh, and the social distancing and we could, you could park on one side of my driveway and I could park on the <laughs> other side and we could roll the windows down. We could just pull into the parking lot at the high school and just everybody <laughs> park and, and just sing across the cars. <laughs> that would be great. That'd be awesome. So then what is your go-to karaoke song? Okay, as much as I sing and I've been in front of crowds, I get really shy about karaoke because um, whenever I'm around it, I'm never with people who love to karaoke, so I don't get up and do it. But I would probably have like a go-to like um, Journeys. Um, oh, I wrote them down so I wouldn't forget. Um, <laughs> don't stop. I know the, the pressure. You don't understand this. <laughs> don't stop believing. Or, oh yeah. Like, Queen, somebody to love. You know, one of the oh. old standbys. Those are great. So the, the classics. So the, the people, classics. everybody could sing along with you. There you go. And then I wouldn't feel so shy. Yeah. See, there you go. Well, we need to, that's, this, uh, this is one of the things we need to do when we all get back together um, is next year for our, uh, for our Christmas party, um, just go sing karaoke somewhere. That'd be perfect. I think that would be awesome. But I still like the idea of the parking lot too. The parking lot, that would be fun. Set up that some, actually fun. set up some speakers and have it boom across everybody. That could be like our next video that we do for the students. But that would be great. We'd have to figure <laughs> out what song we're going to sing, though. True. Or we could just lip sync it and have the have the real band sing it. <laughs> that would probably be more comfortable for some people. That's probably true. All right, going to get into the lightning round. I'm going to ask you a series of questions okay. quickly. Um, I want you to answer as quickly as possible, but they're all about your favorite things, so it should be pretty easy, all right? Okay. All right, here we go. What is your favorite food and drink? Um, I, I really like pizza. I like vegetable pizza, vegetarian pizza with lots of vegetables on it, and then beef added to it. And drink, you know, I don't really drink soda. Um, I'm just going to say water. There you go. What's your favorite word? Payday. Payday. <laughs> Both the payday itself when you get the money and the candy bar. Have you ever had one of those? I've had the candy bar. They're okay. Yeah, I'd rather go of, chocolate. Kind of a salted nut. Yeah, there, it's the payday isn't necessarily the best one. Yeah. What's your favorite sound? Um, my favorite sound is just music, music like southern, um, southern rock. Okay. What's your favorite smell? The incense at church. Nice. Your favorite type of music? Southern rock, southern blues. Perfect. And your, your favorite place to visit? Um, you know, our, our generational farm, it's not what it was. My, my mom is in her 90s now, so it's kind of being rented out. But if I could go back in time a little bit, I'd probably say just go back to the farm. That's cool. That's a good answer. And then finally, who is your favorite fifth grade teacher named Clark? I have to tell you, out of all of the fifth grade teachers named Clark, you, Lance Clark, are my favorite. <laughs> awesome. And, and just to let you know, you did get the right answer for that question. Awesome. All the rest of the questions were very subjective. This one had a very, very <laughs> right and wrong answer. So you passed on that one. I'm so glad. <laughs> all right. A um, couple more before we get done here. Uh, first of all, what have you been doing to kind of beat the boredom of social distancing? And I think you've kind of answered it, but what have you been doing? Um, well, when the weather wasn't so great and I was kind of locked in my house, I did a lot of spring cleaning and anybody who knows me knows I do not like to clean. Um, but yeah, I, I got into closets. Um, I cleaned the, the windows on the inside of the house. I just kind of ravaged through things and got a lot of things checked off my to-do list. 
now you know that it's nicer i've been outside <clears throat> yesterday i put a lot of work into my vegetable garden um so you know things like that on the days that i don't feel like doing so much maybe um i'm doing like some crossword puzzles or candy crush just things like that some days are i'm more productive than other days that just yeah and uh, that that pretty much sounds like the theme of everybody that i that i've talked to and finally what would you like to say to the kids at West Dodge Station? Well, um, just like some days being better for me than other days, I think our kids are going to experience that too. Um, you know, instead of maybe looking at this being a really hard time, look at a time that, I mean, we're making history. We haven't had to do anything like this in either your lifetime or my lifetime. Right. Maybe my grandparents did, but so we're making history. Um, I, you know, growing up on the farm in a small place, I also learned that sometimes amazing things can happen out of being bored. I think some of the great thinkers of our time, some of the great artists and musicians, you know, I think they came up with some of their dreaming and some of their theories on days that they were bored. So it's okay to be bored, um, but dig into those talents and, and you know, do some exploring and, and find out things that you're good at and start creating. Absolutely. That's I. That's that's one of the best answers for, for that question that I've that I've heard. So, oh, thank um, you. I just want to give a huge thank you to Mrs. Harold for joining me today. Join us again next time for Quarantine with Clark. See you soon. Goodbye, everybody. Bye.